Hi, Jim Steele, VP of Engineering at Sensor Platforms. I've uh, co-authored a book, The Android Developer's Cookbook. Um, and a tip I want to uh, share with you is Android sensors, accessing the hardware on an Android device. Um, one aspect that uh, a lot of people developing apps for Android uh, like to take advantage of is it has a lot of interesting sensors on there. Of course, the touch sensor and the camera, which uh, are used and uh, thought about by everyone, but also the, there are sensors such as the accelerometer for screen orientation, magnetometer for knowing which direction you're pointing, and gyroscope is in some devices for knowing uh, for uh, for use in games. Um, all that is covered in the book and uh, um, the hardware section, uh, but it's really interesting um, in general. I want to make sure and you know just stress to people that sensors um, are only getting better and uh, cheaper, and so we're going to find them in more and more devices. And utilizing those really differentiates their app. Um, there are a lot of issues uh, with uh, fragmentation of sensors between different uh, devices. Android is very rich in that it has a lot of different devices out there that are utilizing it. Uh, but from that aspect, it could get frustrating from a developer's point of view. Um, something we do here at Sensor Platforms is try to smooth over those frustrations and make sure that an app you write with uh, uh, one uh, sensor suite in mind will work across multiple devices. You know, you may write one uh, that uses a gyroscope for a game, but there might be someone uh, that's using uh, a, a cheaper phone in, uh, that doesn't have a gyroscope in it. Um, well, we have algorithms we do to make sure to smooth that over. And it's something that, uh, you know, utilizing SDKs like that can help really uh, um, optimize uh, and refine the user experience.